Right now, Kaystone is going to demonstrate how easy it is to like use a small or short vertical uh, using uh, to reach the uh, underneath fascia board. Sometimes where you have a paper wasp nest, uh, he's going to show you using the four foot extension uh, how easily it is to like reach. Uh, I think we have a carpenter bee that's trying to get in on the act too. Uh, right now, he has that uh, plugged in. The compressor and the compressor is adjusted to a 35 psi. Uh, you don't need a lot of power or pressure in order to uh, make this uh, unit operate at high efficiency. Uh, next, he's going to show you how easy it is if there is uh, a higher elevation needed to simply snap the quick connect another four foot extension on and go up another four feet. As you can see, it's a one hand held operation. It extends up uh, approximately at this point, uh, say 12 to 14 feet. Power Duster also is equally effective horizontally as it is vertically. As you can like see, he can use that at any angle between 180 and 45 with a small amount of like curve, but a great amount of accuracy and control. Okay, I want to uh, try maybe aiming that, uh, say if they were a paper wasp nest uh, behind a gutter. Over here? Lower side. More like on a horizontal, more so than vertical. Or an angle. Yeah. Over here? Yeah, back just to look right there. And like shoot. As you know, sometimes paper wasps also like to hide underneath the uh, edge of the roof of the uh, shingles. I get a lot of calls. We get a lot of calls that sometimes when they're cleaning the gutter, that uh, they run into a paper wasp nest. So it interrupt your. Uh, work schedule. I guess that's good for the guys who are trying to get out of that honeydew mission that their wife put them on, but you can see how easily it is to uh, inject the dust underneath the shingles and uh, relieve that problem. Okay. There you go. Okay.